what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can download and play star wars hunters on your pc or laptop completely free completely safe and you don't need a high-end pc or laptop to play this game either any relatively new computer should be able to run the game fairly well the game is currently in soft launch meaning it is officially out right now but it's only available on android devices in india malaysia indonesia and the philippines it's not out on ios or on the switch until sometime in 2022 but you guys can actually play the official game right now all of your progression will count towards the full launch and so if you guys want to get started early and start grinding to unlock those hunters and skins and all that good stuff then you can do so right now and that is what i'm going to be showing you guys today on top of showing you guys how to download it i'll also be showing you how to set up all of your controls and stuff for the game at the end of the video too and so yeah there are timestamps down below for you guys if you want to skip ahead or skip back to certain parts of the video before we get into it if you guys are new to the channel then consider subscribing and turning on those notifications but with that being said let's get stuck right Right into it. So what you guys want to do as the first step is you want to click the very first link in the description. Once you click on that, it's then going to open up the, the website where you can download it and it's not going to really show anything on screen, but as you can see, it's going to start downloading. Now, I'm actually just going to cancel this because I've already just downloaded it, but obviously once yours is downloaded, then we'll be good to go for the next step. So once it is downloaded, you want to then head to your downloads and don't worry about these two. These are some of the next steps, but this one right here, the knock setup, that is what you guys want to open. So you want to start that. It'll pop up just, you know, making sure that you want to open it click yes and it will begin to sort of install the Nox player. This will pop up on your screen and you just want to click install. It'll then obviously proceed to start installing the actual emulator to your PC. And then as you can see, it's done with the installation and you can see up here in the top right that the, or well, the top left, I should say, dumbass, <laughs> that the, uh, the, the stuff has installed. So this is good to go. You just want to click start. This will then actually open up the emulator. And then from here, you can see that this is essentially what is going to be running the game. This is pretty much pretending to be a tablet. It's pretending to be some sort of Android tablet. And so, yeah, the emulator is now done and the next few steps, we've just got to sort of set this up ready for the game to actually install. Now, once the emulator is installed and you've got it open here, what you want to do is you want to head to the little, like, the settings cog up in the top right here. Under the performance tab here, you want to just double check that this is set to what mine is set here, which is the high four core CPU, 4096 megabytes of memory. So just make sure that that's clicked and then make sure that enhanced compatibility mode, OpenGL is clicked as well. Then lastly for these settings, what you want to do is head down to general and you just want to make sure that root there is clicked and you just want to save the settings and restart now. That's just gonna save those settings to the emulator. It's gonna restart Nox for you. And then as you can see, Nox is sort of booting back up and those settings will be changed. So once that's done, that's pretty much all we need to do with the Nox emulator. And now we can get into actually installing Hunters onto this quote unquote tablet. Now, once the emulator is actually all set up and ready to go, you wanna head to the second and third links in the description. Uh, these will bring you to these two Mediafire um, you know sites here and that'll allow you to download the actual hunters game here and then the gl tools here now i have actually downloaded these already so i'm just going to cancel them but you guys get the picture you just download those and once they're downloaded then we can move on to the next step once these are downloaded you just want to head back into your download folder to find where this file actually went i'm just going to move these across just so that you guys can sort of see what's going on a little bit better and the first thing that you want to do is actually drag in the gl tools into the emulator that's just going to essentially install it into the emulator as you can see here it's essentially downloading this like it's an app on the app store on the tablet and once that's downloaded then we can go ahead and open the gl tools obviously you just want to allow that to access your files and stuff like that what you want to do is you want to click i confirm to both of these and then you want to click install after that, you just want to click remember choice forever and then click allow. That'll start the installation. And as you can see, it's it's sort of granted the, the power to use the GL tools on this tablet. Next, you want to head back into the download folder and you can see the Star Wars Hunters actual file here as well. You want to drag that onto your emulator. And as you can see, this is essentially like downloading the, the game from the from the app store. Once that installation is good to go, you then want to head into GL tools again and you want to scroll down until you actually find Hunters within this. So you can see here, there's the uh, the actual Hunters app. You wanna double click on that. And then what you wanna do is click enable custom settings for this app. You then wanna scroll down until you find use fake GPU info. Click that. Then you wanna scroll down to fake GL renderer. And you wanna type in exactly what I've got on the screen for you guys right here. Make sure that's exactly what it is. And I might even put a pinned comment or put this in the description so you guys can actually just straight copy paste this. Once that's written out exactly like that, you just wanna click okay. Once that has saved, you then wanna to go to fake GL version. And again, I'll put this 
that's a, obviously a, a lot of stuff on the screen right there. You, I'll put that in the in the pinned comment and the description as well. You guys can just copy paste that in. You can type it in if you can be bothered, but obviously there's a there's a chance you'll make a mistake. So I'll just put the the stuff that you guys need in the description and the pinned comment. Once that's in there, you just want to click OK, and then you can actually just go to the home screen, which is done by clicking this little button down here. And then when you open up Hunters, it should actually work. So you probably will need to install like a patch for the game. As you can see here, it says confirm download. This is kind of like a day one patch type of thing. So just click confirm to that. It will, it, it's pretty much one gig. So it shouldn't take you guys too much to actually download the patch. And obviously I'll just speed this up and get you guys into the process of setting up the game. And then after that, like I said, I'll actually go into how to set up your keybinds and all that to make the game work on both keyboard and mouse and actually on your controller as well. Now, once that is done installing, it's going to ask you for your email address and stuff. This is just to set up your account for the game. So to set up your, you know, all your progression and your game tag and stuff like that. Now I'm just going to blur this out while I put my stuff in. Obviously I don't want you guys getting my my email address and stuff like that. So I'm gonna blur that out just so you guys can't log into my account and do some dumb shit with it. Now, because I actually already have an account, I've been playing for a month, like I said, it's already got an account set up, so I'm kind of logging into mine, but yours might be a little bit different, but obviously just follow the prompts and it'll set up an account for you guys. And all I'll say is just make sure that whatever you set up, whatever email address and gaming tag and stuff like that, anything that you want for the full launch, make sure to set that up now, because all of your progression will actually carry across. So just make sure to link it to all the stuff that you actually want it to be linked when the game launches. Launches. As you can see, my account has already been found, so I just click confirm. This will be the case for any of you that, you know, if you already have a Zynga account or anything like that, it might be the same way for you guys. Or like I said, it might be completely different if this is your first time playing any of the Zynga games. As you can see, it has logged me into my account. I've got all my crystals and credits and stuff like that. Not that I have many uh, credits because I have been spending them on, on loadouts and stuff. But as you can see, it's logged me into my account and yours will, you know, if, you, if you're new to the game, I think it will have... You get a certain amount of credits and crystals and stuff at launch so you, all of this will look a bit different but if you're logged into this screen then it has worked so far so that is pretty much it you guys can now play hunters um like i said i'm actually going to show you how to set up the keybinds and stuff because that is a little bit confusing as well so if you've used an emulator before and you know how to do that then yeah get out there and enjoy the game but if you're not too sure how to set up the keybinds i'll show you guys how to do that right now now as for the actual keybinds what you want to do is and i'm actually just going to make that full you want to go to this up here, apologies if you can't really see, this is obviously pretty small on your screen, but the one right under this button here, under the under the top button, the, uh, the second one down, you want to click on that, and that's then going to bring these little controls up. Now, I've actually already got mine set up, but I'm actually going to delete all of these just to show you guys how I would set this up. So, start from scratch there. I'm just going to click save and what you want to do is you want to head into the training ground just so that you can see where you're putting the buttons what this is doing is because this is only available at the moment on like mobile devices and tablets and stuff you're pretty much emulating you touching the screen so you've pretty much just got to put what buttons you want where you want them on the screen if that makes sense so you can see the buttons over here this is i need to make it so that when i want to use this it will actually tap that button if that makes sense. So you want to click that and then obviously this is going to be depending on what, like how you want it. But if you're not too sure how you want it set up, I'll show you guys exactly what I've got. So firstly, make sure you set on keyboard. If you want to play on controller, you can do that and you can just change this to the controller setting. I don't have a controller plugged in, so it's not going to work for me. When you have a controller plugged into your PC or your, your laptop and you click controller, it will pretty much set it up how you would already want it. So you don't really need to change many things, but I will show you guys that after I'm done with the keyboard. Now for the movement, you want to grab the D-pad here and you want to drag it over to this side. And as you can see, it's already WASD. So if I just save that, you can see now it's got the WASD buttons here and I'm just pressing WASD as you would in any other game and that's working as intended. So that's how you set that up. What you can do also is you can actually reduce the opacity. So obviously like I can set that to 100 and then you can obviously see the buttons on screen. It might be useful to do that when you're getting used to the game and just trying to remember the buttons. But for me personally, I kind of know what the buttons are. So I actually set mine to zero, meaning that it doesn't actually show up on the screen for me at all. It still works. It's just that the buttons aren't there and it's not in my vision, especially for recording videos for you guys to watch. If there's buttons all over the screen, that just doesn't look really good. So you can set it to zero, but I would actually recommend just setting it to whatever it's set to initially, just so you guys can kind of remember what the buttons are. Now for the rest of the buttons, you want to kind of just set these to whatever you want, but I'm going to show you guys what I've got to 
etc that might be a good starting point for you guys so once that one's done obviously these are all just buttons that you want to click once so instead of the d-pad you want to just use the single click for me personally i put this one as q so when i press the q button it'll do that ability i put this one as e so obviously these are both right next to the w key so it's just all nice and close to where the rest of your your fingers are going to be for the other buttons for the ultimate here i actually set this to one as that's another button that's really easy to click and obviously that's just an easy one to remember when you want to use your main ability you just click the, the number one button and then i set this one here to two and then this one i actually put as space because this is the jump button so obviously that makes sense to have space as jump and then as for the aiming aspect what you want to do is you want to set the shooting mode pretty much right there and for that there you want to click the right mouse button now if i show you guys what i mean now that i've right clicked the button i can sort of enter that mode and you can see that i'm aiming i don't have to hold the button down now but I just click, simply click the right button and I'm out of that now and I can move the, the mouse around if I need to change the hunter, for example. I can switch to Reeve here. And then anywhere on the screen that I click, if I just literally move around now, then it's good to go. So that really helps with um, removing the issue. A lot of people had to sort of, you can actually move the, the controls or move the aim, I should say, through simply just holding the mouse. And you can see that mouse, like the cursor going across the screen and it's dragging it around. You can do it that way, but it's just not that useful to do it that way. So by simply clicking the, the right mouse, now I'm in the aiming mode and I can just sort of keep that there until I don't need it anymore. And obviously that's just a much easier way of doing it. Now, I'll show you guys the rest of the controls. If I press the Q button, that'll throw the lightsaber there. If I press E, it should do the, uh, the sort of like charge slam thing. If I press two, that'll do that swipe attack. And you can see these buttons being pressed on the screen. So you can kind of see which one's which. Obviously if I, do the lightsaber throw you can see it being used there and then i'll show you guys the jump as well come to this and jump and i'm just pressing the space button there and obviously that's working so let me just get into full screen i didn't realize that i was not in full screen there um and yeah that's pretty much all set up now for you guys it's working the same as any other shooter would work one other thing that i'll say is if you want to go into your settings go to the theme or actually it's display sorry you can make your mouse actually a little bit bigger. So now you can see that it's actually more visible. This really just helps to know like if I'm, you know, if I'm trying to aim and I can't, I'm, I can't aim, then obviously I can see the mouse a lot easier. And then I know, okay, I haven't clicked into the aiming mode and now it's gone. Now I can aim. And then if I need to change my hunter, then obviously the mouse is a lot easier to see. So I would recommend doing that as well. It's definitely not something that you need to do, but yeah, it just sort of helps being able to see that cursor a little bit easier. Now that's it for the mouse and keyboard, but I'm going to show you guys the controller as well. It is, I've already set it up and it's exactly the same like principle as what I just showed you guys. So you just do the single click button, and put that to whatever button you want it to be. So obviously if I save that, the left stick is going to help me move. What I'll say about the controller gameplay is it's really janky right now. Um, you can just see that the aiming doesn't really work as it should. I can only aim a certain way, and I'm sure if I toyed around with the settings, it would it would work. But you can see I can't really go past where I am, and the aiming is just, yeah, it's, it's all jacked up. So I, I would personally recommend just playing on a keyboard and mouse. You could toy around with the sensitivity and make it so that you can move this a little bit better, but you can see that it's just like, it looks like I've got a freaking aimbot right now. It's just like real janky so personally i would not recommend at all playing with a controller but i have seen people that have actually like set it up to where it is working so if you really want to toy around with it and you just really want to play on controller you can do that but it is honestly a lot better of an experience on the keyboard and mouse but anyway guys that is essentially all you need to know about downloading the nox emulator as well as star wars hunters and then also setting up all of your controls and stuff like that and essentially from this point on you can just jump into the game and have a heap of fun now i would recommend just getting into the training mode that i was just showing on screen just get the hang of the controls and all that kind of thing and just sort of get used to how the game plays and then obviously i'm going to be doing a ton of guides and a ton of content on the game in the next few weeks and months so if you're looking to try and improve your gameplay and stuff like that then be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications because there will be plenty of guide content on the way i'm hoping to get out a guide on every single hunter i'm hoping to get out a bunch of guides on the maps and how to play them and stuff like that and so yeah there is plenty of star wars hunters content on the way now if you guys do have any trouble with actually installing this what i would recommend 
recommend is actually jumping into the Discord and I'll leave that as the fourth link down in the description. Ask around in the Discord if you're having trouble because there's a lot more people in there that will be able to respond a lot quicker than I can respond and they probably have a far better idea of what they're doing as well. So everything that I showed in the video, it should work for you guys exactly the same as it worked for me. But if it doesn't work, just head to that Discord link in the description. And if you ask around, I'm sure absolutely everyone is going to be willing to help you out. That Discord is actually really, really awesome in there. Great little community. And so yeah, be sure to ask around to those guys if you're having any trouble with it. That is going to do it for this one though, guys. Thank you all very much for tuning in. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Crush them! Make them suffer!